You following me? You ran through the gate and everything? Hey guys, surprise, I moved. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you really should. So I moved into a 25 acre orchard. Pretty charming. And literally I'm surrounded by orchards and it's beautiful and Dolly loves it and I love it. And I just figured why not have a new experience. And truthfully, if somebody was like, here's a hundred million dollars, what do you want to do with your life? I would move to a farm. And, and keep making YouTube videos because I really like it. And that would be my dream. So I get to do that dream on a small budget. Nothing is permanent and I have no furniture. Come on in and check it out, guys. Okay, so this also has the potential to be an entry. I'm thinking of doing a little bench here. I feel like I have lots of space to kind of reconfigure things. So then I got this little secretary. I get to have this great view and sit here, get the mail, entry, come in. It's almost like, very utilitarian. And I'm gonna do this whole background differently in the secretariat, I'm really excited about that. I am obsessed with also burl wood and basically this is uh, walnut. Okay, so this is a bit of a put lipstick on a pig situation. A lot of times we get into a rental and it is less than ideal. So we do little things in between as we kind of transform them. This shelf was already here. Not in love with everything, I have plans to change it. But in the meantime, hang a mirror, hang some tassels, put a fun rug in, and enjoy your life. And drink everything out of little stemmed glasses, you know? It's gonna feel a little glamorous, even if it's not that glamorous. <laughs> so this is my main living area. I really like it because I literally made a wish list for everything I wanted. I put open beam, vibes, view. And I literally have a view from every single room in this house. And I like that it's just one big open space for shooting and for decorating and for just kind of changing it up because Lord knows I like to change it up. So this is my entry. This is just because I happen to have this table, obviously. This is old, an old print. It's just leaning there. It's kind of too big for it, but I mean, come on, I got nothing going on in here. Obviously old, new, whatever. So for now, that is my entry and that's pretty much it, obviously. So what I'm gonna do here is do a credenza and I feel like it's probably gonna be some kind of Ikea hack, so there will be a video. And it might be a couple dressers or kind of credenzas I'm thinking to make this just feel like one big space. My bathroom also needs a little work. It's so weird that I kind of wanted a rental that needed a little help because then I can like DIY and do fun stuff and like experiment with it. My goal is to buy a house next. Anyway, anytime I looked at like a really nice house, I thought I'm not gonna be able to do anything to that. And I don't like it that much anyway. The mirror obviously is changing. It's just gonna be something else, probably to be honest with you, cause it's a rental. I mean, maybe I'll do the electrical and put something in, but not right away probably. I'll just get a way bigger mirror. And I know I'll lose that storage, but I'm really okay with it. Like I said, temporary, just have stuff here. This I had and it's kind of crammed in there, but it works and I gotta hang this up. But you know, it's in the meantime here, okay? New DIYs for the cabinets. Hopefully a new faucet. Um, yeah, so we'll see. So I have a small little bedroom here, but it's very cozy. And like I said, everything has a view, which is really nice. And I have a headboard coming, which I'm really excited about. These may look familiar because they are from Lowe's. They're one of my favorites. And obviously they're in every room and I just installed them right away. So I might be adding drapes, but they're really an easy thing to do. And if not, I think they're just kind of a light look. And then here, it's gonna be kind of tight with my bed, especially when I see the headboard, it's gonna push it out a little bit, but that's also why I opted for just a headboard and not a bed, to maximize my space. Yes, I could do a tall dresser here, but then it's going to block getting in here, and Lord knows feng shui, I need to keep both sides of the bed open. Here, like a long kind of dresser, and I feel like if it's low enough, it will hold a lot of stuff because it will be long, but it won't be like domineering to the space. This is how we're living on stage one of moving in and the closet, which is much smaller and much less storage than I had, but I'm making it work and I created a little kind of jewelry area too and shoes and kind of color coordinated, got a little stool to reach up high. That might come out, doubles as a seat. Doing what I can with what I got. Welcome to my patio. 
I feel like it's filled with possibility, which is really exciting. I have a lot of ideas. I've been pinning a lot of ideas. So, whole new opportunity to find solutions. Some of you may recognize my table that was previously in my old kitchen. It actually is originally an outdoor table, so it has returned to its roots. Oh, did I mention I also get free fruit? Free fruit. Avocado, pear, peach, apple, pomegranate, cherry moya. I mean, there's really a lot of varietals around here, and I'm super excited about that, and I hope you guys liked it, and I need a good hashtag. Like, I need a hashtag for my house. So if you guys have any ideas, definitely want to hear it. Yeah, let's see how it evolves. See you guys next time. Thanks for coming by. Love ya. Bye.